Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a very requested video. I've been getting a lot of questions about this. So if you guys don't know, I have been teaching myself how to do acrylic nails. I did this set on myself not too long ago, actually a few days ago. Um, so everyone has been asking what products I use, how I use it, where I got everything, the links, all that stuff. So I kind of just don't want to repeat myself all the time. So I'm just going to make a whole video dedicated to that. And yeah, I do have a nail page that I just started. I will leave the link down below as well. Um, so yeah, just in case you guys want to know more about the products I use, where I get them, what I use them for, and all of the things you need to really start doing acrylic nails and just keep on watching. So I have all of my nail stuff in a big portable makeup storage thing, one of these, but it has a second compartment that has wheels and a lot more storage space. So yeah, that's where I have all my stuff just in case anyone is wondering. So I'm just gonna go in order of all the things that you need and kind of how you would actually do the nails. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the products and all that stuff. The first thing you're gonna need to do is prep your natural nail. So for that, you're gonna need to use either a drill. So this is the drill that I have. This is the McCart electric nail drill. Um, this is 30,000 RPMs, and yeah, this is just what it looks like. I got this off of Amazon, but I did look the other day for it to send it to somebody, and I couldn't find it, so I'm not sure if they removed it from Amazon or it's just out of stock or something, but I'm pretty sure McCart has a website that you can order it off of, but let me just take it out. So this is what the actual drill itself looks like. Mine is full of dust because I have been using it. But this is just the little kind of battery, I guess. So here it has all the controls. It does come with a foot pedal if you would like to use it that way, but you don't have to. So you can either use it with your hand or your foot pedal. Um, this controls the speed and then you can go forward or reverse. So that just means like the way that the little bit spins. Um, so yeah, this is the hand piece. Um, so yeah, this is what I use. This is the drill that I use. And as far as drill bits, which is what you're going to need to shape the nails and prep the nails, um, this is what came with the drill. It just came with some sanding bands. So this is what you're going to need to use to also prep the nail. It came in different grits. So like they came with some more coarser um, bits and some other ones that are more fine. And then it also came with these cuticle bits as well. So these are just like really basic bits that I think every drill comes with. So I use mainly these two to prep the natural nail and kind of clean off all the dead skin of the cuticles and all of that stuff. And then I will use a sanding band like this to remove the shine from the natural nail. So basically you want to remove the shiny little layer on your nails because those are like the natural oils that kind of come to the surface of your nails and acrylic won't stick to your nail as well if you have that shiny layer so you just want to make sure you take it off you don't want to thin down the nail if you don't have a an electric file you can do a full set with just a hand file so this is just a regular hand file um these are two like different shapes but you can do an entire set with just a hand file it's just going to take really really long so yeah and you won't might not be able to get as precise as you can with a drill so you can use this or if your natural nails are a little bit too long you can just file them down before you apply the nail tips so for nail tips i have two boxes here this clear box um these are the first nail tips i ever got and i got these everything i got to start i got off of amazon so just like a disclaimer but i'm not exactly sure what brand this is and I do like these they are nice and they are kind of sturdy but the only thing that I don't like is that they're not that long so this is how I don't know if you can see that so this is how long they are and at least for me personally I like pretty long nails so I have these but I don't use them as often anymore because they're just really really short and yeah but I also have these other nails these are natural nail tips these are the EC Basket by Nails Gaga Nails. Um, these I got these off of Amazon as well. And this is just the natural color. So let me just get a tip. These are definitely longer than the other nail tips. And since these are more natural, you wouldn't really use these like 
for encapsulating or anything so you can kind of double them up but yeah these are the ones that i use and i did number them myself and i numbered them wrong because i didn't actually look at the nail tip to see what number it is so these numbers are all wrong but anyways so to glue on the nail tips i use the kds glue i also got this off of amazon um you can honestly use any glue because as long as it stays glued until you put your acrylic it's not really going to pop off the acrylic is going to be what really holds everything together so yeah this is just the glue that i use this is a brand new bottle so i like this glue it stays on pretty well and my mom did use this to keep on her press on nails um and they held it really really well so i do really like that after i have the um tips glued on and everything i will go in with a straight edge nail clipper so as you can see it's nice and straight it doesn't have any kind of curve and you don't want it to have a curve because this is just going to really help you get a very precise shape so i will trim down the nails to whatever length i want or the client wants and then i will trim down the sides depending on what shape i want so if you want a stiletto you're going to trim you know a lot into a nice pointed tip or if you know if you want coffin you just trim down some of the sides if you want tapered square you don't really have to um use this if you don't want to but that just does take some time off of your drilling and applying your acrylic and all that stuff it just kind of helps speed the process along and the final steps in prepping the actual nail is your dehydrator and primer so this is my dehydrator from mia secret um it just looks like this and then i have the same primer these actually came in a set so they kind of just come together so this is also from mia secret and this is the non-acid primer so these are the only ones that i've used like i've said i'm new to nails this is just the stuff that i'm about to like really start myself up so i don't really have much to compare it to but i will say that it has worked for me so far this is the brush that i have which yeah this is a eval e eval eval number 10 brush i also got this off of amazon and mine is pretty messed up because i didn't learn like how to really keep your brush in shape and keep it clean and keep it from kind of fraying so i do have some acrylic stuck in here which i do need to soak off i have been pretty good about that but yeah so this is the brush that i got i do plan on getting a better brush just because this one is kind of giving out on me already because like i said i didn't really learn how to properly keep it in shape but yeah this has worked for me so far i did use decide to get a number 10 because i didn't want something that was too big or too small but i at least for my own nail since my nail bed is pretty small um i could probably use a smaller brush if i wanted to but that is the brush that i use and then you're gonna need some paper towels so paper towels these are the viva paper towels i got this from like dollar tree and you're gonna need this to wipe your brush off so you just kind of get some i use like two and i just fold them in together and once you dip your brush into the powder the liquid whatever you have your acrylic and you start putting it on your nail you want to make sure you're wiping off your brush because if you don't your um acrylic is going to get stuck in your brush the way it did with mine and you can soak it off and all that stuff but you want to make sure you have your paper towels with you so that you can just clean off your brush as you go and you're not going to have a ton of gunked up acrylic in your brush you have your monomer which is the little purple liquid and then you have your powder so i started off with the mia secret um acrylic system so this is the liquid monomer this is the eight ounce bottle and then i also have the cover nude blush i also did buy the clear because i don't know i just bought both of them but yeah, so this one is a 2 ounce bottle and this is a 4 ounce bottle. So this one is just clear, it dries clear, it's all clear. And then this one is a nude color. I also bought some dampened dishes, so this one's dirty because I just used it. But I have some dampened dishes, so this is where you dip, you, you pour your monomer in here, and you just dip your brush, and then you dip into the powder. So I have that, that's basically the acrylic system that you will need. And if you want to buy extra nail stuff like glitters or um, decals or females or anything like that, you do not need that for a set or you don't need that to learn how to do nails. So I would say just start with buying the basics, which is everything that I'm showing you is like the basics, basics, you need all these things to do nails, but you don't need 
mylar to do nails you don't need glitter or flakes you don't need anything like that so all of that will come you know with time you just buy that little by little but yeah so i do have other um uh powders here so these are from Meraki nails i am actually a brand ambassador for them and i do have a code with them um, my code is just disqua in all caps for 10 percent off but this is her fairyland collection these are all just pastel powders they are literally so beautiful i use them for this set right here as you guys can see all of those colors are from here and yeah so i did buy some of this because i didn't want just a regular nude set every single time i do my nails you know i wanted to start uh, experimenting with some stuff so i did buy these powders which these are really really good um you get five powders for i believe the collection is 60 five dollars and she is constantly having sales constantly you know giving promo codes and stuff like that so i have my own code like i said you get 10 percent off so so after you have applied all your acrylic all your nail designs whatever it is that you want to do everything is nice and ready to go you're going to start using your drill again and your drill bits so these are a set of five drill bits that i got off of amazon as well these I believe are from Melody Susie. Usually to shape, I would use these two. So after I have applied all of the acrylic, I will use um, bits that look just like this. And these are ceramic bits. There's also um, carbide and all that stuff. I usually use these to shape the nail because they are a little bit more aggressive and they do kind of make sure everything is like getting nice and even. So if your acrylic is kind of not flat like this and it kind of has some bumps and dips, um, this is gonna help you even everything out and you can also help yourself shape so if you kind of have some extra acrylic on the sides or it's just not tapered enough or whatever it may be um you can use this to just kind of go on the edges and really clean that up so yeah th these drill bits are going to just go into your nail drill which is what you used to kind of do the cuticle prep and remove the shine you'll just you know pop these into there and you can shape and buff and everything like that so I have those and then after you do all of that you can go ahead and buff the nails this is just a normal nail buffer um, I don't really like this one I did get this off of Amazon as well um, it came in a set with a bunch of nail files and some buffers I don't really like these because it does leave like little black marks like when I'm buffing the nails it leaves some black streaks on some of the nails um, so I don't really like that so I haven't really used it that much lately but my nails have looked fine without using it so this is the no wipe gel top coat I don't use like a regular nail polish top coat because um, it I find that it chips and it doesn't last as long so I do like to use a gel top coat whether I'm using gel polish or colored acrylic or whatever it is I will use this and you will need a nail lamp so this one is from Amazon as well this is the LKE 48 watt professional nail equipment Sun X9 plus lamp That's just what it looks like um, all of this stuff was fairly yes Mia but you're not in the bathroom. No, I'm not in the bathroom. Yeah, it's the bathroom. I'm in the bedroom, yeah. Because where's mommy? Where's mommy? Mommy's in the bathroom. But mommy's not in the bathroom. yeah all of this stuff or if you're using like gel polish you would put that on um, and then put it into the lamp and all that stuff so that would be your last steps and then you know your cuticle oil if you have any or anything like that I right now I use coconut oil and it works perfectly fine for me so so that's basically all of the stuff that you need to do a basic set of acrylic nails to teach yourself to learn um, those are the steps and how you do them and everything I got like I said can be found on Amazon it is not too expensive you're not going to be spending $700 for a basic kit um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this helped anyone out there I will try my best to give links down below but if I can't find a link to something or if I get lazy then I will leave the links to my social medias down below as well thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video